mental game and mindset. First, let's talk about developing focus and concentration. Now, how do you do this? Now, I remember back in my days, when you play or when you train and you're just super, what we call, the zone. zone. Everything just feels effortless. Like time is moving slower. Everything, you're getting less tired. You're just super focused. You're not thinking about anything, but you're so focused on the test at hand. And that's what the zone is. How do you get into the zone? One is being comfortable with all the factors around you and being able to push all of that out because you know all those distractions are not going to affect you. Second is so being used to so many things happening around you at once and focusing on what you're doing. But what you can do actively to focus on your concentration is really think actively, what am I doing right now? And how do I do it better? If we're thinking you're just doing clears, okay, or just hitting clears, you could just be hitting clears with no active goal. Or you could be thinking, what am I doing right now? Oh, I'm hitting clears. What is my goal? To hit more accurately, okay? Identify it, and then from your identification, how do I do that? So you're always actively thinking about what you're doing, and that's going to focus your concentration and take away the distractions around you. What about gameplay and tournaments? How do you focus? Well, we say training is where it happens. Usually in tournaments, you only perform 80, 70% of what you are like in training. So make sure your training is at 100%. So when you're in those tournaments, you're ready to play at 80% because that's just realistically what's gonna happen. Let's talk about how to deal with pressures and nerves, okay? What if you do if you're feeling too scared, if you're feeling too nervous? Well, this is all normal. Why do you feel this? It's because one, you're not prepared enough. Second, you're not experienced enough. So having pressures and nerves is totally normal. That means you're performing at a level that you're not comfortable with. So how do you get over that? Become comfortable. You have to make enough mistakes during your training, put yourself out there so you can feel comfortable doing bad. So get used to performing bad. Expect failure so that you can improve and reach success. One method you could use is visualization and self-talk. Okay, visualization is imagining you playing super well on the court, imagining whoever you are, Lin Dan, Peter Gade, you hitting on that court, one that's gonna give you confidence. Second is self-talk. Just talking to yourself, because this works. It's proven. Say, Alex, you can do it. Alex, do it. Alex you're the best. Just, Just focus. focus. All, All we need to do is smash it. Talk to yourself. Because saying it is kind of like writing it. It's an active reminder and triggers more active thinking. Last is goal setting and motivation. Goal setting in your training, in your drills, and goal setting in your life. Having clear goals, what are you trying to achieve? For shots, oh, these certain shots, my goal is to do this. I'm not doing the shot for the sake of being there. I'm doing the shot because I have a goal. And how do you stay motivated in your training? It's to have an important group of people. Making sure everyone is more motivated than you are if you want to truly reach success.